Okay, so this should be a quick one. This is about how we can use AI prompts to get the information we're getting back from our AI, in this case, OpenAI API, in a format that we're happy with and we know we can use within our Flutterflow apps. So I'm going to quick demonstration. I've got a very basic format here of a prompt and what I'm looking for is I've got a start destination, I've got an end destination, and I want the AI to give me a route across London on the underground using only step free access stations. As you can see, that's what I'm asking it to do, uh, and it can do that. So let's um, run this and let's look at the response that we get. So we're going to test mode. Um, so let's go, we're going from, let's say, Houston, and we want to go to go to Greenwich. And we might get an error here because this is actually set up to use uh, the more complicated prompt, but we should hopefully get the, the response in the console. Yeah, so we'll have an error. However, the bit we're interested in is the content. So I will highlight there. Right, so um, as you can see, sure, for a journey to Houston to Greenwich and London Underground while only using station to step free access, you can use these steps. Now, if you think about it, if we want to just display our user some text, uh, a wall of text, then this is fine, this response here. However, honestly, we don't want to do that because, you know, it's, you know, it's not a very good user interface just to give them some text. So uh, what we need to do if we give our AI some specific instructions on how we want our response formatted we will get a completely different answer we'll get the same steps but what we won't get is all the fluff that goes with it because what we want to do we want simple instructions so we can say um, so we can program it to split it by comma or space or whatever so we can assign the instructions to variables in our apps Obviously, as it is at the minute, that makes it much harder to do, and it's just too much information that we don't actually need. So, if I go over to Superbase and go off that, so that's the original prompt, as I said. So, if we go to the get root prompts, so that's when I just set up there for the demonstration. This is the actual prompt I'm using, and basically. We're giving the AI much more specific instructions what we want it to do. We're still saying we only want step free access, but the important thing is please provide only start station, end station, and line name, and then keep these instructions step come separated. No further information is required. So, what we're asking the AI to do on its response only give us the specific piece of information start station, end station, line, and this is how the way we want it formatted, i.e. the comma separated, and no further information is required because even if you ask it to do these specific things, AI does like giving you its opinion, I suppose. Not that it has an opinion, but you know, it likes fluffing it out and giving you some more information that is completely super superfluous. And then it makes it much harder to extract it into a variables. So if we change our get root function back to what it was Let's run that and then we then get root again and there you can see what I've done here we've got station station line station station line and that's your step free route and then down here on the bottom so we've got the content and li literally all we want is that information and this allows us to split that information up and display it in a user-friendly way whereas as you can see the section above is just a wall of text that is not great to use in our apps so this is really about thinking about how you are setting up your AI prompts and then you can use custom functions, custom code to split them up however you want them. I am putting these in a um, 
and putting these into an app state. So just quickly on that front, we finished in test mode. So this is the function that I am using. So we've got get root. We're not returning a value from the custom action. What we're actually doing, we are splitting it up, which I'll come back to in a second, and we're putting it in an app state. So we've got an app state called roots, which is a JSON. So because we've asked our AI to specifically give us line start end line start end line for all the steps along the route so we are splitting out the content of our response which is the content section which are just the bit i've demonstrated and then we are taking out separating each comma separated section which is each se separate step of instructions and we're splitting that again in three which is start end line and then we are mapping that to a json object which is our app state variable start end line so therefore rather than having to deal with all that wall of text i've got three separate pieces of information which i can map to my app state variable and split it up and use it in the app and the way we're doing that is um please excuse the fact you can't see the text because the container in the list view is set to change color depending on what line you've picked because obviously as most of these things all over the world these underground systems the london underground have all got different colors for each line so that's how we're displaying the information and we have got an app state variable which is what we're using to populate our list view so the update variable we have written in our custom function our custom action sorry get root so we've written all this information to the update variable and we've got start end line that's how we're populating our list view and then if i go that text object there that is the usual splitting a json by data type data structure field i've got a custom data type um called ai roots and i've got start end and line as you can imagine and then end and then the line you can just see the text there it's just not a very good color um line there so that's what i've done to solve this particular problem but this is really about the ai response if you do want to look more about the json content and mapping it to the custom data type there's a video for that it will be on the screen now um so really this is just about iterating your prompts to get the exact information you want the AI to give you back and tell it this is what i want i don't want anything else and then that way it's much easier for you to then be able to use it within your apps and split it out using custom code into an app state or something and you know it took me a few iterations to get to this to exactly what i wanted a few trial and error in terms of how i was going to use it but i think that works really well you just got to be very specific in what you want and if you this is chat gpt 4.0 um obviously if you're using gemini or something else i'm sure they'll work the same so this is another example where we tap the location icon and we'll populate our nearest three accessible stations are you ones without stairs or ones with step free access and then we tap on the icon and then we'll have a bit of a wait because the map recenters when you move it so you do want to wait for it to finish moving before you send the coordinates otherwise they'll probably be wrong oh they certainly found they're wrong anyway and we've got another one that says get station details and that is that is actually the location of our marker which is a station location and then on this one basically we're getting the details and we're saying again please give me just the station name and the available lines of that station now the only piece of information required and keep station name variable copy separated again so again it's off split it up by commas so you can use it in your apps and your variables so much easier than you can if you were just getting the standard response which say chat gpt certainly will just give you a lot of information that you don't need it you know, obviously likes to sound with its own voice probably so that's it so it's a very simple one just learn when you're using prompts to think about the content that you want back and the way you want the content formatted tell the AI that you want and it'll give it to you and make your life so much easier when you're trying to use that information so hopefully that's something you can use 
If it is, please consider like and subscribe as always, and I will speak to you in the next video.